so now we are going to see about convection current and conduction current so generally what is the current current is flow of charges or motion of charges current through a given area is the electric charge passing through the area per unit time that is i is equal to dq by dt that is charge is being transferred at a rate of 1 coulomb per second 1 coulomb per second where your charge unit is coulomb time unit is second coulomb per second or it may be called as ampere so current through a given area is a electric charge passing through the area per unit time this is a generally current <coughs> now current density so current density consider the planar surface del s so through that planar surface the current flows that may be called as del i the ratio between this is called a current density so j n equal to del i divided by del s so del i equal to j into del s if it is normal the current density is normal to the surface then del i equal to j n into del s right if it is not then the dot product may be exist here del i equal to j into del s i need only the current so i equal to just integrate in the rhs we will get and sir integration of surface integral j into ds right this is the current now we will see about oh, convection current generally how the current is produced based on that we can able to differentiate three kinds of current densities one is convection current another one is conduction current and third one is displacement current so here we are going to see about only convection current and conduction current convection current will not take place in the conductor it will take place only in the dielectric medium such as liquid or air filled gas or vacuum so and also it will not satisfy the ohm's law so convection current will not take place in the conductor only it will take place only in the insulating medium such as liquid air filled gas or vacuum so and also it will not satisfy the ohm's law right for example the a beam of electrons in a vacuum tube that is the example for convection current right consider here the filament so consider this is a filament right here this is y direction this is z direction this is x direction right here the filament is there the current density in the filament is rho v here consider the small planar surface del s this is also planar surface del s so the distance between this planar surface del l right so we know that del i equal to del q divided by del t di equal to del q divided by del t so we know that del q equal to rho v into del del v right so del v we can write in terms of surface del s into del l so where l already del divided already del t is in the denominator so del l divided by del t it is a distance by time is nothing but velocity right so we can write uh, rho v and del s and uv so electron passing through the filament in the direction of y so here you are writing del i equal to rho v into del s into uv the current density at a given point is a current through a unit normal area current through a unit normal area at that point that is called a current density right so y director current density jy equal to del i by del s current density del i by del s already we know that del i equal to so we found that rho v into uv right so here in this here um del s is here if you take this del s is in this side you will get rho v into u y so that only we are writing here right so current density equal to rho v into u where u is the velocity i is the j is the current density right the unit for this current density is ampere per meter square now we are going to see about conduction current conduction current it will take place only in the conductor right 
so when you are going to apply the electric field so you will get conduction so when you are going to apply the electric field in the conductor <coughs> so there will be your electrons right the electron will move freely in the material right so when you are going to apply the electric field electron having some mass so that uh, when you are going to apply the electric field due to that electric field the electron the speed will be increased the velocity will be increased right and uh, it will average the time interval between the collisions it may be called as tau the force e delta e without e is equal to f by q that is already we studied right this is the relationship between uh, e and uh, f right so here q is nothing but charge so here the charge is uh, electron electron is a charge right so minus e so electron indicate that minus e so f is equal to minus e into e the force we can write in terms of mass of the electron and velocity of the electron and average time interval between two collisions this is the force force we can write so mass of the electron into velocity divided by average time interval between the collisions right equal to minus e into e from this we can able to find out the velocity we can get that so here in the uh, in the filament uh, volume charge density density volume charge density it is nothing but number of electrons present in the volume that is minus n into e so why it is minus minus is nothing but electrons minus e number of electrons is n so n is the number of electrons per unit volume n is the number of electrons per unit volume so conduction current density equal to j into rho v already we know that so you just substitute the rho value here whatever it is a rho value and u value if substitute here you will get a n e square tau divided by m into e so this part we can write as a sigma sigma is nothing but conductivity of the conductor conductivity of the conductor so this is the conduction current density so what is that conduction current density and convection current density convection current density so it will not take place in the conductor it will be in the only in the insulating medium so that is a vacuum liquid rare field gas it will not satisfy the ohms law but the conduction current will satisfy the ohms law it will take place only in the conductor right so that's all about conduction current and convection current